Hello, my name is Thales and Cortin, and I will present the work entitled Towards Better User Interface for Sample Selection in Image Classification. This work has been presented at Geobia 2014 in Thessaloniki, Greece. In the beginning, I just like to, to remember some of the history of the, the remote sensing image analysis. In 1972, with the, the launch of Landsat 1, we can see, say that this is a, a, the start of pixel-based image analysis in remote sensing. So with the, the launch of the satellite, the researchers could start to analyze the value of the pixels and make some inferences about that. However, the image segmentation techniques were also started to appear. However, they were applied in other kinds of images, not remote sensing, because we didn't have. But the segmentation techniques are older than the, the remote sensing image analysis. And these two areas were independent. However, in 2001, there is a very important paper which is called What's Wrong with Pixels, which investigates how to merge both of these techniques in order to produce better results in remote sensing. Not just these two techniques, but also the, the knowledge of the user, the specialist, on the domain specialist, and when we gather this these techniques and the technology, we can make better uh, classification of remote sensing images. And so we can see, say that in 2001 is like the, the beginning of the Geobia paradigm. Another research area which is very important in science is knowledge discovery in databases, which dates from 1989, that these techniques of knowledge discovery that integrates data mining algorithms, uh, pattern recognition techniques, they are kind of surrounding the, the Geobia paradigm. And today some of the, the works also uses knowledge discovery to make the inference. So we have a knowledge discovery and also the expert knowledge. So by gathering these two things we get the Geobia technique. And as pr proposed by Blaschke in 2014, we have more or less this data flow in order to, to have a classification using Geobia technique. We have the original images. We can apply multiple segmentations to obtain the object representations. And also here, we apply several classifiers in, in uh, such an iterative proceeding to obtain pre-classification and new object representations and we do this cycle until we are satisfied with the results and then with a validation we come to the final classification. So the core of this presentation is related to this part, the part of the classifiers. Considering classifiers as a task of image classification in general or pattern recognition in general, we are, have defined by Lu and Wang in 2007 this, all these steps to make image classification. We preprocess the image, we make feature extraction of the images, we select training samples, then we select a suitable classification approach, make a pulse classification and accuracy assessment. The focus on this work is on samples, which, according to Theodorides and Kutrumas in 2008, are patterns whose class is known and which are used for the design of a supervised classifier. So the aim of this work is how to select samples. A proposal of this work is to focus in the segment when we are selecting samples. Here I show four examples of the remote sensing images and also the segments are highlighted in the top of the, the images. And the standard way to, to select samples is to look for this representation and select samples of specific classes that we want. But the idea that we propose here is to focus on a single segment 
we're going to highlight only that segment and we are going to ask for the expert what is the class of this specific segment so we focus on each segment of the images in order to select samples so the the, the idea of this part is to make a change in this case we in the, the traditional way we show all this this polygons and say to the user select samples from class 3 for example and the proposal that we are making here is by looking at this highlighted segment answer what is the class of this specific segment we highlight a single segment we make uh, the, the neighborhood easiest to be viewed by the user and to make the, the interpretation better so the first step is to make this differentiation here and the basic flow of our proposal is this one we have uh, input data which are composed by raster and segments and then we make the feature extraction or we extract features from the images suppose we have this image here and we have the highlighted polygon here in, in red we, could, we can obtain spectral features which get all the pixels inside this region and make several computations on that the average, the maximum, the minimum, the amplitude and so on we can get the geometric properties of the same polygon and all of this data will try to characterize the segment and then we feed the database with all these features and go to the process of sample selection we must, as the user, must, to, must define a typology that means the user must say to the database what are the expected classes in the image he can make he or she can make the sample selection so the first step in our uh, approach is to select random unclassified segments for example since we have lots of segments in the image we will, we are going to pick one of them randomly choose it and we are going to ask to the user considering this target we are calling this segment a target what is the class of this segment and also a second thing that we want to make is to given that specific target we are going to find similar segments around the image spread over the entire image so we call these segments candidates how do we find these candidates? assuming that all the features of the image are normalized in this interval 0 to 1 we can compute this distance the Euclidean distance between the features will be computed by this example here the maximum possible distance is going to be 1 minus 0 since we have for all the features we make this sum and then in, in the end we get the square root of n and n is the number of features compute the distance of a target that segment that we choose randomly and the candidates which are the other segments in the images we can compute the Euclidean distance between these two segments we get all the features and make one minus the other and square this and also the sum our approach we define a very simple threshold here since D is the maximum distance that we can have between uh, two segments we selected that we consider two segments similar if the distance between them is 10% of the maximum possible distance what is the, the aim of this? the aim of this is to find a target and also find candidates to, to the training samples so when the user looks at this interface the user can decide what is the class of the target and when they define the, the class of the target all the candidates will be also assigned to the same training class of course here we have some wrong candidates and as well the, the user can go there and select that candidates that are wrong and remove them for the separate selection so in this moment when the user makes one click 
in the, the screen, it's going to select, suppose that we had all the, the samples here, we have uh, 5 times 3, we have 15 plus the target, we have 16 segments. With one click, the user can select 16 segments. The, one of the, the purpose here is also to speed up the sample selection. And then we display the segments and expect that we select a, a good sample set. Let's show some results. Uh, we have a worldview to image of the São José dos Campos city in Brazil. It was obtained in October 2012. And we have more than 3,000 segments and this basic typology of class. Roofs, impervious surfaces, shadows, vegetation, shining uh, objects, bare soil and pools. And then we display the objects to the user and ask the user to select samples. And then uh, iteratively the user goes and selects more samples, more samples by selecting the classes here. After a while the system is also uh, capable of estimating the class of the target to help the user to select the samples by displaying this ranking here. We have a ranking here that shows the, the status of the sample selection. In this case we have 22 samples of roof, 91 samples of impervious surface and so on. And based on these already selected samples, the algorithm our method estimates a ranking of similarity between the, this target and all the samples that we have. So based on the, the selection that we had, we create this ranking here. And the ranking says that the most probable class is the roof class, which in this case is correct. This is our idea to speed up the process of sample selection and help the user to see exactly the segments in the relation of these segments and the neighborhood. To conclude the work, we still have to, to improve the similarity measures because we have lots of segments and so we have to treat them individually and to compute similarity measures is a costly task. We have to extend this ranking that I showed and also maybe we can infer classification rules based on the samples. Suppose that we have lots of samples of vegetation, then maybe we can prepare an algorithm to estimate that some features such as NDVI would be high for all the vegetation samples. We can estimate this automatically and we can show these rules to the user to help them to make his own decisions when going to create specific rules for the object classification. And also we need to test with more domain experts to get uh, uh, feedback of our technique. So this is uh, our work towards better user interfaces for sample selection in image classification.